You've done it now, mate. Plenty more fish in the sea. If you got the rod to reel them in with. What's the news? Well, your last ECG and blood test are normal. You can go home, Bob. I meant my daughter. They're going to test her for brain death. I'm sorry. We struggled to save your daughter. But now her mind has been lost. However, through Deborah, with your consent, Mr. Broadbent, we have the opportunity to save the lives of others. Um, please, consider it carefully. By chopping her up? A surgeon will perform an operation to remove the requisite organs with as much care and respect as he would give a living patient. The decision is entirely of your own free will, Mr. Broadbent. I want Deborah left the way she is. Then that's exactly what'll happen. I'm very sorry. What happens now? I'm afraid we have to turn the machine off now. So let's talk about that patient you killed. Her father's objections aren't religious, aren't cultural. He just doesn't think it's right. Then we've got a duty to change his mind. We have a duty to respect his wishes. I'm going to talk to him. Why risk it, Claire? You're already on thin ice. Because maybe, for once in my life, I'm going to do something right. Fremulin ward. Um, no, uh... The patient? No, I, am. Um, I had a bit of a flutter on the 3.30 at, um... At, uh, Chep, um, Chep something, and I won a few quid, and I thought I might splash out. Um, doctor, you get me mixed up with someone else. Like, I don't even know you are. <laughs> I'm angry. Angry at all this emotional blackmail. I'm angry too. I'm angry that people don't carry donor cards. That there isn't an opt-out system. That organs that could be used to save people's lives are buried or burned. I'm angry that because of all this, heartless bitches like me have to bully and berate relatives during their time of grief. Your daughter's dead, Bob, and you're not to blame. Others are dying and you and I are. David. Bob. This is David. Have a seat. Thanks. Claire said maybe we should have a chat. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry about your daughter. Thank you. She said it was your kidneys. Yeah. When I was about eight, they became affected by a serious inflammation. It damaged them so badly that they don't work anymore. So I come here three times a week for dialysis. That's the thing in your neck? Yes, it cleans waste products from your blood. My arm's swollen because the vein on this side has been scarred by all the lines they have to put into it. They made a fistula here for dialysis, but it broke down. What will they do? They'll operate on the other side to make another fistula. But they had problems before. I 
I'm sorry about your daughter. There's a spring cleaning those rooms. Looks like we're getting some new neighbours. Oh, great. Just what you need, a couple of locums who don't speak English and stay up all night studying. <laughs> Just don't say a word. Mm, looks like someone will be switching back to manual. I don't expect you to understand. It's what I believe to be right. Why don't you expect me to understand? I shouldn't have said that. No, please, I'd like to know. Maybe you've never loved anyone. I'm really sorry about your daughter, Bob. I'm sorry. We've... We've still a game to finish. If not going anywhere special. No. Not going anywhere special. <laughs> 